Airy TV News broadcast crew and I, Delete Sahai, are now ready for your daily news briefing at 10.30 local time. But first, let us catch up with the major headlines. Prayer service held in connection with Martyrs Day. Financial support extended to families of martyrs. Up to 50 reported killed in Indian train collision. And six killed in Ecuador as heavy rains triggers landslides. On our local news, prayer service and sermons marking Martyrs Day was held at St. Michael Church at Al Khlafa Al Rashidin Grand Mosque in the capital city of Asmara. This morning, the service at St. Michael Church was attended by Abuneb Etros, Archbishop of the Eritrean Orthodox Tohado Church, along with Abune Lucas, Secretary General of the Holy Synod, and other members, including archbishops and numbers of the faithful. Religious leaders from Catholic and Lutheran Church also participated in the service. During the event, Abuneb Etros delivered a speech emphasizing the profound significance of the day and the Salman responsibility it entailed on every citizen. Mergeta Mulgeta Sumon from the Office of the Patriarch indicating the peace and tranquility that we are enjoying is the precious gift of our martyrs and said Martyrs Day is sacred day on which citizens renew their pledge to live up to the expectation of the martyrs. Similarly in the afternoon hours of today Salat and Dua service were conducted at Al Khulafa Al Rashidin Grand Mosque, preceded by Sheikh Salim Ibrahim Al Mukhtar, Mufti of Eritrea. Sheikh Salim Ibrahim said that our martyrs have sacrificed their precious lives so that we can live a peaceful and harmony lives and called for reinforced contribution in support of the families of martyrs. Staff members of the Eritrean Naval Forces Southern Command extended financial support to families of martyrs on 15th June. The event organized in the port city of Asab was attended by Brigadier General Abraham Andom, Commander of the Eastern Command of the Eritrean Defense Forces, Mr. Rezane Mikhail, Secretary of PFDJ of the Southern Red Sea Region, and other regional officials. A total of 53,000 Nakfa collected from the staff of the Eastern Command was distributed to families of martyrs. Lieutenant Colonel Guito Omkidane, commander of the Western Command of the Naval Forces, commended the initiatives and called on others to follow this noble example. Mr. Yosef Fasahaye, head of the Ministry of Labor and Social Warfare in the region, noted that the support of the Naval Forces members were the continuation in the similar to the initiatives by the nationals both inside the country and abroad. He emphasized the need for st stability of the support. In related news, government employees in Tessane, residents of Aligidur, and members of police in the Tessane subzone conducted a popular campaign at the Martyr Cemetery in connection with Martyrs Day 20th June. A similar campaign was conducted at Martyrs Cemetery in Adaya subzone, attended by government employees and over 350 lecturers and students of Adaya College of Business and Social Science. Residents of various subzones in the Asaba region also extended financial support to families of martyrs in connection with the Martyrs Day. Students and government employees in the elaborate subzone extended 310,000 Nakfa to 62 families of martyrs. Members of PFDJ organization and government employees in Hamel Malo subzone distributed 23,000 Nakfa to four families of martyrs. Furthermore, residents of 60 First and 5th administrative areas in Karen City contributed 102,000 Nakfa in support of families of martyrs. Programs including support families of martyrs and popular campaigns have been conducted in the subzones of Barantu, Mansura, and Golij, Gashbaka region. According to reports, 200,000 Nakfa contributed by government employees in Barantu subzone has been distributed to 100 families of martyrs. Mr. Tasfa Alambata, administrator of the subzone, noted that the initiative demonstrated the respect and honor they hold for the martyrs. 
Mr. Gabraslasi Nagash, Director General of Administration and Finance in the Gashbarka region, commended the initiatives and called for its sustainability. Similarly, 34,000 nakfa contributed by government employees in Mansura Sabzon has been dispersed to families of martyrs in the administrative areas of Mentai, Herkog, and Mansura. Additionally, a popular campaign at the Martyrs Cemetery was conducted in Golit Sabzon participated in by residents, government employees, and members of police forces. A cultural program organized by the National Union of Eritrean Women branch in the central region was conducted at a hall of the Union's central office. Veterans, young artists participated in the program. In the same vein, students of Isatol de Medhin Secondary School extended 20,000 nakfa to 20 families of martyrs. Similarly, 18,000 nakfa collected by staff members of the Internal Revenue Office was dispersed to 12 families of martyrs. Members of Warsai Kalo School donated 60 units of blood to enrich the blood supply of the National Blood Transfusion Service. They also extended 27,750 nakfa towards argumenting the National Trust Fund. Members of ex-fighters associations conducted popular campaign at my Demnet area in connection with Martyrs Day. Ministers and senior government and PFDG officials participated in the popular campaign. The viewers will be back with the international news shortly. Stay tuned. Welcome back. As many as 15 people have been killed and dozens injured after a freight train collided with passenger train in Indian Western Bengal State. The cargo train hit the Kansian Singwa Express in the Darjeeling district of the eastern state on Monday morning. And shall reports suggest that the cause of the accident was human error. This busy railway record hundreds of accidents every year. As per reports, at least 15 bodies have been pulled from mangled carriage. Nearly 30 people injured and rescue teams from the police and the National Disaster Response Force were working with doctors and residents of the area to clear the debris from derailed carriage. TV pictures showed one train rammed into the end of the other with the compartments rising vertically in the air. Swarms of people have been gathered at the spot where skewers were searching for victims. On a less news, at least six people have been killed and 19 others injured in Ecuador after a heavy rainstorm triggered a landslide. The deadly mudslide occurred on Sunday in the city of Bonas de Agua Santa in the central Ecuador. This is according to the National Risk Management Agency. The agency had initially reported 30 more people were missing, but later said they had been located. Videos and images online showed a flood of mud and debris charging down the high slides of Bonas and surging over the highway. The authorities have mobilized heavy machinery to clear the road. The mayor of Bonas, Miguel Guevara, urged residents to steer its treasuries, roads, and said authorities were racing to clear the area along northern coast to ease the search for more victims. The viewers, we've come to the end of tonight's news. Let's have a quick recap of the headlines. Prayer service held in connection with Martyrs Day. Financial support extended to families of martyrs. After 50 reported killed in Indian train collision. And six killed in Ecuador as heavy winds trigger slide. That wraps up our stories for tonight. Thanks for watching and have a good night.